So continuing with this um, idea about plant growth, so what we're going to look at here is the way that um, plants actually go about growing. There's, there's two bits involved really. Now if you, you look at a plant's stem, um, it, you know, they, they just look kind of green and have leaves coming out, don't they? But when, when you look at it closely, this bit right at the end, the, the, the very tip, or what's sometimes called the apex, is the bit that, that where all the business is happening. And inside of here we would have Mary stem, a Mary stem member are, are, is basically a plant stem cell, uh, but we would refer to it as tissue. There'd be a region of these things, and there's, there's a few of them around the plant. These ones are the apical Mary stems. Uh, we also get lateral Mary stems. It's just a bit more difficult to draw, I suppose. Uh, different colour. Uh, so here's our stem cut through and apical Mary stems would be uh, sorry lateral Mary stems would be in a, a ring of tissue like this so these ones are responsible for the the, the um, plant growing wider and um, we also get lateral bud Mary stems and these normally don't particularly look like much um, on a plant here here's a bit sticking out you would have these small buds that would be uh, on the side of the plant. And normally the, these aren't doing a whole lot at all, but if you take the top of the plant off and you get rid of the apical Mary stem, um, these lateral bud Mary stems come to life and they, they would start um, sprouting um, new stalks and new leaves. Um, there's also the example uh, given in your book, and bamboo is probably the best thing to think of for this. I'll try and draw one. Kind of looks like bamboo. I think you probably know what it means. Um, these bits down here called the intercalary uh, Mary stem, which is here, and these bits are called the nodes where they join. Uh, and then in the middle, we've got this zone of elongation, which we'll see again in a second. There it is. Um, and what's happening on this message is that the growth is happening in the middle and it kind of pushes out both ways. Bamboo grows extremely quickly. It's a type of grass, very, very rapid growth. Not not really seen in, as commonly in just the normal plants you would expect to see in your house. Um, okay, so, so what's going on? Well, if we, we zoom in a little bit on these apical Mary stems, um, I'm going to try and draw one. I'm not very, uh, not very good at doing this bit. More like Batman, never mind. Um, so this would be what, what's actually happening at the book. You, you get a better idea if you look in your book, to be honest. Just up here is this region where we get um, cell division. So the cells divide just behind um, the, the apex of, of the root, that was behind the very tip of the root. But behind that is the bit where we have the, the zone of elongation if you like now what's going on here well the problem you've got as a plant cell let's go back to year seven for a moment there we go there's our plant cell with its uh, cell wall which of course we now know because we're not in year seven it doesn't protect the plant it's there to um, prevent bursting uh, from osmotic pressure um, so yeah, we can have our old bits in here the problem we've got is Unlike in animal cells, where when it divides by mitosis, or indeed it grows, it just pops and you get another one, the cell wall is going to stop that. So what you've got to do, um, what happens in elongation, is you've got to break down this cell wall in some way. How does it do it? Um, well, it's all to do with the auxins. So the auxins are released, and they would move by diffusion. Uh, they're released uh, just at the apex they would diffuse back into this zone of elongation and it would depend on, on what concentration of auxins you've got would depend on um, how much elongation you get how does it do it well what it does is it relies on our old friend from um, photosynthesis and, and respiration ATPase remember these ATPases were enzymes um, that were sitting in the membrane remember it was the thing that was kind of the this kind of structure wasn't it with the um, of rubbish drawn of it you remember what it looks like and uh, what was happening is we had H plus ions 
come flooding through here. Um, and what it does is the, these H plus ions lower the pH. Okay, so these hydrogen ions lower the pH, and it makes it more suitable for something called different colour expansins, which is another enzyme. Um, and what expansins do is they break um, the bonds in the cellulose. Cellulose look got a lot of bonds. I remember it from the first unit. And once they've been broken, this is a lot weaker. So the cell, as it grows, will elongate because the, um, the, the cell wall has simply become weaker. You also have the additional benefit that these hydrogen ions um, will disrupt hydrogen bonding. If you remember right back when you did um, enzymes, for example, and one of the, the effects of um, changing the pH was it would um, affect hydrogen bonding in the tertiary structure of proteins. Similar idea here, except it's affecting the hydrogen bonds between um, the uh, beta glucose molecules, which make up um, cellulose.